கிளாஸ் லெவன் அக்கௌண்டன்சி நியூமர்கல் ப்ராப்ளம் சொல்யூஷன்ஸ் பிரசென்டட் பை எடுக்சிட் டாட் காம் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு ப்ரொவைட் ட்ரையல் பேலன்ஸ் அண்ட் ரெக்டிஃபிகேஷன் ஆஃப் எரர்ஸ் ப்ராப்ளம் ஃபிஃப்டீன் சொல்யூஷன் த ப்ராப்ளம் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் இஸ் எஸ் ஃபாலோஸ் ரெக்டிஃபை த ஃபாலோயிங் எரர்ஸ் அசூமிங் தட் Suspense account was opened. Ascertain the difference in trial balance. A. Furniture purchased for 10,000 rupees wrongly debited to purchase account as 4,000 rupees. B. Machinery purchased on credit from Raman for 20,000 rupees recorded through purchase book as 6,000 rupees. C. Repairs on machinery 1400 rupees debited to machinery account as 2400 rupees D repairs on overhauling of second hand machinery purchased 2000 rupees was debited to repairs account as 200 rupees E sale of old machinery at book value 3000 rupees was credited to sales account as 5000 rupees Before we proceed with the analysis of these errors Let us first do a small recap. In case of assets or expenses or losses, any increase in any of these should be debited and any decrease should be credited. Whereas in case of liabilities or capital or revenues or gains, any increase in any of these should be credited and any decrease should be debited. To rectify the errors in this problem, we need to recall few of the guiding principles of rectification of errors. One of the guiding principles is if error is committed in books of original entry then assume all postings are done accordingly Let us understand this by taking one example wherein the error is stated as motor car purchased on credit from babu for 29000 rupees recorded through purchase book as 32000 rupees Here the error is committed in the purchase book which is the book of original entry So when this transaction is recorded in the purchase book we write babu as the account to be credited but the amount recorded in the purchase book is 32000 rupees now the question comes whether babu's account is posted with 29000 rupees or 32000 rupees to resolve this we assume that all the postings are done accordingly this means that as the purchase book is recorded with 32000 rupees Babu's account will also be credited with 32000 rupees This is what it means The other guiding principle is that if a transaction is recorded in cash book then the error in posting relates to the other affected account not to cash account or bank account Let us understand this by taking one example wherein the error is stated as Building repair expenses 1400 rupees debited to building account as 4100 rupees So in this transaction the building repair expenses are paid if you remember as we have discussed in the previous problems unless otherwise stated all the payments are assumed to be done in cash so as the payment for these expenses is done in cash we will record these through the cash book so here as the recording is done in the cash book we assume that the error in posting relates to the other affected account which in this case is the building account but the cash account will be recorded with the correct amount this implies that the building account will be debited with the incorrect amount of 4100 rupees but the cash account will be credited with the correct amount of 1400 rupees this is what it means in addition to these guiding principles also remember that if the error is due to short debit then we should debit the corresponding account if the error is due to the short credit then we should credit the corresponding account so the error rectification entry will be on the same side as the side on which the error is committed so if the error is on the debit side then we should enter the error rectification entry on the same side that is debit side if the error is on the credit side then we should enter the error rectification entry on the same side that is on the credit side so remember that whenever there is short we enter the rectification entry on the same side similarly 
If the error is due to excess debit, then we should create the corresponding account. If the error is due to the excess credit, then we should debit the corresponding account. So the error rectification entry will be on the other side of the side on which the error is committed. So if the error is on the debit side, then we should enter the error rectification entry on the other side, that is credit side. If the error is on the credit side, then we should enter the error rectification entry on the other side, that is debit side. So remember that whenever there is excess, we should enter the rectification entry on the other side. With this information at our disposal, let us now proceed with the analysis of each of the errors in the given problem. In this problem, we are supposed to prepare a suspense account. With this assumption, let us start with the analysis of the first error. In this case, 10,000 rupees of furniture purchase was wrongly debited to purchase account as 4,000 rupees. Let us first analyze the original transaction. In this transaction, the furniture is purchased. As the furniture is an asset, we should debit the furniture account with 10,000 rupees. Also, we assume that the payment for the purchase of this furniture is done in cash. So, we record the payment done for this in the cash book on the credit side with a credit amount of 10,000 rupees. However, instead of debiting the furniture account, the purchaser's account was debited with a wrong amount of 4,000 rupees. However, as this payment was recorded through cash book, as per the second guiding principle that we have discussed in the recap, we assume that the error is committed only in the purchaser's account and the cash book was created with the correct amount of 10,000 rupees. So, we don't have to bother about the cash book here. As the debiting of the purchase account is an error, we should make a reverse entry to rectify the erroneous entry by crediting the purchase account. This will nullify the effect of the erroneous entry. To summarize, we should debit the furniture account with 10,000 rupees to record the actual transaction and credit the purchase account with 4,000 rupees to rectify the erroneous entry. As both these entries are on different sides, let's find the difference. From 10,000 rupees, if we subtract 4,000 rupees, we get 6,000 rupees. This is the excess debit and should be credited. We should create the suspense account with this excess debit amount. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us first write the title as Journal Recordings to Rectify the Errors. I repeat, this is not just journal, it is journal recordings to rectify the errors. Let us now have the individual columns for date, particulars, ledger folio, debit amount in rupees, and credit amount in rupees. As the date is not given, let us just write the serial number in the date column. Let us now enter furniture account as the debit entry. Let us also write the text DR to indicate that this is a debit entry. Let us now write the debit amount of 10,000 rupees in the debit amount column. That completes the recording of the debit entry. Let us now record the credit entry. As you know, the credit entries are recorded by leaving some margin. They also start with 2. Let us now write purchase account as the credit entry. Let us then write the credit amount of 4,000 rupees in the credit amount column. That completes the recording of the credit entry. Leaving a margin, let us write the suspense account as the other credit entry. Let us also write the credit amount of 6000 rupees in the credit amount column. Let us now enter the narration or description of these error rectification entries as being furniture purchased, error rectification recording, furniture purchased for 10,000 rupees was wrongly debited to purchase account as 4000 rupees. Let us now draw a line to mark the completion of generalizing of these entries. With that, we have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us now take up the next error. In this case, 20,000 rupees of machinery purchased on credit from Raman was recorded through the purchase book as 6,000 rupees. Let us first analyze the original transaction. In this transaction, the machinery is purchased. As the machinery is an asset, we should debit the machinery account with 20,000 rupees. At the same time, as this machinery is purchased on credit from Raman, Raman becomes the creator of the business and hence Raman's account should be created with 20,000 rupees. However, instead of debiting the machinery account, this transaction was recorded through the purchase book. We know that the purchase book will be totaled periodically 
and the total of the purchase book will be transferred to the purchase account finally so this is equivalent to debiting the purchase account with 6000 rupees however as this transaction is recorded through the purchase book all other postings will be done accordingly as per the first guiding principle that we have discussed in the recap in other words Raman's account will be created with 6000 rupees as the purchase book was recorded with 6000 rupees as the recording through the purchase book is an error we should make a reverse entry to rectify this erroneous entry by creating the purchase account this will nullify the effect of the erroneous entry so as per the analysis done so far we should debit the machinery account with 20000 rupees to record the original entry and create the purchase account with 6000 rupees to rectify the erroneous entry also raman's account was supposed to be created with 20000 rupees to record the original transaction but it is created with 6000 rupees as per the erroneous entry so there is a short credit to raman's account from 20000 rupees if you subtract 6000 rupees we get 14000 rupees this is the amount that is not credited to raman's account in other words This is the amount of short credit to Raman's account so we should create Raman's account with this 14000 rupees so to summarize we should debit the machinery account with 20000 rupees we should create Raman's account with 14000 rupees to fulfill the short credit we should also credit the purchase account with 6000 rupees to rectify the erroneous entry with these recordings both the debit and credit sides will be in balance so no suspense account is involved here with this analysis at our disposal Let us now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the machinery account as the debit entry. Let us also write the text DR to indicate that this is a debit entry. Let us then write the debit amount of twenty thousand rupees in the debit amount column. Leaving a margin, let us record the purchase account as the credit entry. Let us also record the credit amount of six thousand rupees in the credit amount column. Leaving a margin again. Let us record Raman's account as the credit entry. Let us also record the credit amount of fourteen thousand rupees in the credit amount column. Let us then write the narration or description of this error rectification entry as being machinery purchased. Error rectification recording. Machinery purchased on credit from Raman for twenty thousand rupees was recorded through purchase book as six thousand rupees. Let us now draw a line to mark the completion of generalizing of these entries. With that, we have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us now take up the next error. In this case, one thousand and four hundred rupees spent on machine repairs were debited to machinery account as two thousand and four hundred rupees. Let us first analyze the original transaction. In this transaction, the machines were repaired. As the machine repairs fall under expenses, we should debit the repairs account with one thousand and four hundred rupees. Also. We assume that the payment for these repairs is done in cash. So we record the payment done for this in the cash book on the credit side with a credit amount of one thousand and four hundred rupees. However, instead of debiting the repairs account, the machinery account was debited with a wrong amount of two thousand and four hundred rupees. However, as this payment was recorded through the cash book, as per the second guiding principle that we have discussed in the recap, we assume that the error is committed only in the machinery account. and the cash book was created with the correct amount of 1400 rupees so we don't have to bother about the cash book here as the debiting of the machinery account is an error we should make a reverse entry to rectify this erroneous entry by creating the machinery account this will nullify the effect of the erroneous entry to summarize we should debit the repairs account with 1400 rupees to record the actual transaction and create the machinery account with 2400 rupees to rectify the erroneous entry as both these entries are on different sides let us find the difference from 2400 rupees if you subtract 1400 rupees we get 1000 rupees this is the excess credit and it should be debited we should debit the suspense account with this excess credit amount with this analysis at our disposal let us now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write repairs account as the debit entry. Let us also write the text DR to indicate that this is a debit entry. Let us then write the debit amount of one thousand and four hundred rupees in the debit amount column. Let us then write the suspense account as the other debit entry. Let us also write the text DR to indicate that this is also a debit entry. 
Let us then write the debit amount of 1000 rupees in the debit amount column. Leaving a margin, let us record the machinery account as the credit entry. Let us also record the credit amount of 2400 rupees in the credit amount column. Let us then write the narration or description of these error rectification entries as being repaid on machinery, error rectification recording. Repairs on machinery 1400 rupees was debited to machinery account as 2400 rupees. Let us now draw a line to mark the completion of generalizing of these entries. With that, we have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us now take up the next error. In this case, there was a second hand machinery overhauled by paying 2000 rupees, but the repairs account was debited with 200 rupees. Let us first analyze the original transaction. In this transaction, the second hand machinery was overhauled. As you know, when the overhauling is done on the machinery, it will improve the lifespan and performance of the machinery and we should consider this as capital expenditure. So, we should debit the machinery account with 2000 rupees. Also, we assume that the payment for the overhauling of this machinery is done in cash. So, we record the payment done for this in the cash book on the payment side with 2000 rupees. However, instead of debiting the machinery account, the repairs account was debited with a wrong amount of 200 rupees. However, as this payment was recorded through cash book, as per the second guiding principle that we have discussed in the recap, we assume that the error is committed only in the repairs account and the cash book was created with the correct amount of 2000 rupees. So, we don't have to bother about the cash book here. As the debiting of the repairs account is an error, we should make a reverse entry to rectify this erroneous entry by creating the repairs account. This will nullify the effect of the erroneous entry. To summarize, we should debit the machinery account with 2000 rupees to record the actual transaction and create the repairs account with 200 rupees to rectify the erroneous entry. As both of these entries are on different sides, let us find the difference. From 2000 rupees, if you subtract 200 rupees, we get 1800 rupees. This is the excess debit and it should be created. We should create the suspense account with this excess debit amount. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the machinery account as the debit entry. Let us also write the text dr to indicate that this is a debit entry. Let us then write the debit amount of 2000 rupees in the debit amount column. Leaving a margin, let us record repairs account as the credit entry. Let us also record the credit amount of 200 rupees in the credit amount column. Leaving a margin again, let us record the suspense account as the other credit entry. Let us also record the credit amount of 1800 rupees in the credit amount column. Let us then write the narration or description of these error rectification entries as being repairs on overhauling of second hand machinery purchased. Error rectification recording Repairs account was wrongly debited with 200 rupees instead of creating the machinery account with 2000 rupees. There is no dry line to mark the completion of generalizing of these entries. With that, we have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us now take up the next error. In this case, 3000 rupees of old machinery sold was created to sales account as 5000 rupees. Let us first analyze the original transaction. In this transaction, the old machinery is sold. When the machine asset is sold, the machine asset will be decreasing. So, we should create the machine account with 3000 rupees. Also, we assume that the payment for this machine asset sold is received in cash. So, we record this cash received in the cash book on the debit side with a debit amount of 3000 rupees. However, instead of creating the machinery account, the sales account was created with a wrong amount of 5000 rupees. However, as this cash received is recorded through the cash book, as per the second guiding principle that we have discussed in the recap, we assume that the error is committed only in the sales account and the cash book was debited with the correct amount of 3000 rupees. So, we don't have to bother about the cash book here. As the creating of the sales account is an error, we should make a reverse entry to rectify this erroneous entry by debiting the sales account. This will nullify the effect of the erroneous entry. To summarize, we should create the machinery account with 3000 rupees to record the actual transaction and debit the sales account with 5000 rupees to rectify the erroneous entry. As both of these entries are on different sides, let us find the difference. From 5000 rupees, if you subtract 3000 rupees, we get 2000 rupees. 
This is the excess debit and should be credited. We should create the suspense account with this excess debit amount. With this analysis at our disposal, let's now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the sales account as the debit entry. Let us also write the text DR to indicate that this is a debit entry. Let us then write the debit amount of 5000 rupees in the debit amount column. Leaving a margin, let us record the machinery account as the credit entry. Let us also record the credit amount of 3000 rupees in the credit amount column. Leaving a margin again, let us record the suspense account as the other credit entry. Let us also record the credit amount of 2000 rupees in the credit amount column. Let us then write the narration or description of this error rectification entry as being sale of old machinery at book value. Error rectification recording. Sale of old machinery and book value was created to sales account instead of creating the machinery account. With that, we have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries. In fact, we have completed the generalizing of all the error rectification entries. But we are not done yet. This problem requires us to prepare the suspense account and ascertain the amount of difference in trial balance. Note that the scope of this problem is to just prepare the suspense account. Ideally, even though we have to prepare the other accounts also, we don't prepare them to limit it to the scope of this problem. Let's start with the first general entry. So, this general entry needs to be posted on the credit side of the suspense account and the credit amount is 6000 rupees. Note that the details that need to be posted into the particulars column is furniture account. Let us first create the format for the suspense account as it is not yet created. Let us first write the title as suspense account. Let us then write the headers dr and cr to designate the debit and credit sides respectively. Let us now have the individual columns for date, particulars, journal folio and amount in rupees on the debit side. Let us have the same columns on the credit side also. Let us first write by furniture account into the particulars column on the credit side. Let us then write the credit amount of 6000 rupees in the amount column. With that, we have completed the posting of this general entry into the suspense account. Let us now take up the next suspense account entry. This general entry needs to be posted on the debit side of the suspense account and the debit amount is 1000 rupees. Note that the details that need to be posted into the particulars column is machinery account. Let us first write machinery account in the particulars column on the debit side. Let us then write the debit amount of 1000 rupees in the amount column. With that, we have completed the posting of this general entry into suspense account. Let us now take up the next suspense account entry. This general entry needs to be posted on the credit side of the suspense account and the credit amount is 1800 rupees. Note that the details that need to be posted into the particulars column is machinery account. Let us first write machinery account in the particulars column on the credit side. Let us then write the credit amount of 1800 rupees in the amount column. With that, we have completed the posting of this general entry into suspense account. Let us now take up the next suspense account entry. This general entry needs to be posted on the credit side of the suspense account and the credit amount is 2000 rupees. Note that the details that need to be posted into the particulars column is sales account. Let us first write the sales account into the particulars column on the credit side. Let us then write the credit amount of 2000 rupees in the amount column. With that, we have completed the posting of this general entry into suspense account. In fact, we have completed the posting of all the suspense account related entries into the suspense account. Let us now find the totals on both the debit and credit sides of the suspense account. The total on the debit side is 1000 rupees. Similarly, the total on the credit side is 9800 rupees. From 9800 rupees, if we subtract 1000 rupees, we get 8800 rupees. This is the credit balance and should be written on the debit side. So, let us write to balance carried down in the particulars column on the debit side. Let us then write 8800 rupees in the debit amount column. Now, the total on the debit side is 9800 rupees. And the total on the credit side is 9800 rupees. So, now the suspense account is balanced. Now, this balance carried down will be the difference in the trial balance. And this 8800 rupees is the excess credit. With that, we have come to the end of this solution. Thanks for watching. Edixit.com is started to promote effective and efficient learning process to help the students with their learning requirements. To watch all our videos, please subscribe to our channel.
Also, please click on the bell icon to receive a notification as soon as a new video is published. Please click on the like button if you like this video. Thanks for watching.